this is Jenna Knox and this is the story of how I was pregnant with triplets and didn't know until about less than a month before I actually gave birth to three beautiful baby girls. So we found out that I was pregnant back in August of 2018 and had our first doctor's visit at eight weeks and um both, both my husband Kyle and I went into our appointment and my um, doctor did a quick scan um, looking for our baby, looking to see that heartbeat and saw one baby. He says, I see one baby. The happy, happy heartbeat right there. Nice. And I said, gosh, I'm relieved to hear you say that because I have been so exhausted and so nauseous I feel like I'm making two babies nope he says there's one uh great so super excited to see what looked like a um, healthy little baby in there and got um scheduled to do a blood test the following week um for genetic testing and to we could also be able to determine the sex that way um so a couple weeks later, got those test results back, which showed that we were having a girl. Um, so we announced at my um, son Liam's two-year-old birthday that we were adding to our family a baby girl, and everyone's so excited. We're just imagining what our life's going to be like. Um, this picture we have of our family, um, mom, dad, boy, and baby girl four of us. So we thought. Um, so my doctor didn't schedule another ultrasound until my 20 week anatomy scan. So we go in and sit down and the um, tech, you know, got out the little wand. And as soon as she puts it on my belly, she says, wait, there's twins. And I'm like, no, there's not. But I'm looking at this screen and I can very clearly see two babies. Uh, so after 20 weeks of thinking we were having one baby, we um, experienced the shock of finding out that we were having multiples. Um, at that time, what we thought were twins. Um, we just saw two babies um, at that first anatomy scan. Um, my doctor, of course, very apologetic that he missed the second baby, um, the, and uh, he referred us at that time to um, a perinatologist to redo the anatomy scan. Now that we know there's two babies, we're going to go to a high-risk doctor um, for most of our visits, redo the anatomy scan, have them take a look at it. So um, we had... That anatomy scan at 24 weeks, just saw two babies. I uh, did another scan at 28 weeks. Um, again, just saw two babies. So at this point in time, um, we had been, had ultrasounds and done had scans done by four different people. My doctor the first time, and then three different um, sonographers or ultrasound decks. And um, by that time I was 28 weeks, where kind of feeling pretty well prepared to have twins. Um, we'd had time to um, sort of mentally process what, what life was going to be like having um, having twins. Uh, we bought a minivan. We, um, my sister and mom threw me a twin baby shower. We went, my husband and I went on a twin baby moon um, when I was, I think, 29 weeks pregnant. Um, we took my son to Disneyland. The whole time carrying triplets without even knowing it. So the way we found out that we had a third baby there was we went to a um, private ultrasound place to get, you know, those 4D images. Um, we had done that when uh, my son Liam um, was in the womb 
and had a fun experience with that. So um, we had my, both of my parents, I believe, were there. My mother-in-law was there. My two-year-old son was there with us to get this um, ultrasound viewing and get the, you know, 3D or 4D images of our two baby girl twins. Um, so we sit down and the sonographer um, is looking at my belly. We have, I think we managed to get one 4D image of one of the baby girls. And then he turned off the 4D and just went back to like a normal, looking at like a normal ultrasound. And he just was kind of going all over my belly for a while without saying anything. It was really quiet. I'm like, what is he doing? And he asks me, or asks us, my husband's sitting right next to me, so when did you guys find out you're having twins? And I said, oh my gosh, you know, it's the craziest story. We didn't know we were having twins until we were 20 weeks. Isn't that crazy? You know, I'm waiting for this reaction that people always get when they hear that story. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. And he's just silent. Um, probably just thinking to himself, how in the heck am I going to tell these people what I'm seeing? And he says, something's throwing me off here. I'm like, what? You know, like, what's something wrong? What's, what, what? And he says, I see three. I see three babies. And that was the moment our lives changed again um, from being so excited, you know, about being pregnant with one baby to the surprise and shock of finding out we were having two babies halfway through the pregnancy. And then, um, you know, 10 weeks later, I was 29 weeks and three days. Um, the first time someone told me that we were actually having triplets. So <laughs> we called my doctor. I had like looked at next to uh, Kyle next to me and was just like, you need to call our doctor right now. It's 4.30 on a Friday. I'm like, he needs to call us back, you know, before he goes home for the weekend. Um, so we talked to our, doc our doctor, that first, you know, doctor we ever saw with our pregnancy, and he couldn't believe it. We called our perinatologist the next day. He called me back on a Saturday morning to talk to me and just couldn't believe it. He said, we're going to get you in for another ultrasound as soon as possible. So that next Tuesday, I'm 30 weeks pregnant. They squeeze us in um, to get an ultrasound. And the tech this time, someone new we hadn't seen before, says, oh, we're here just here for a quick scan. I'm like, really? A quick scan? Is it really going to be quick to um, look at all three babies and make sure everything's okay? And she just looks at me like, three babies? Like, you're crazy. Um, you know... She didn't say anything like this, but just the vibe she gave off was like, why are you guys here wasting our time? Um, we know there's just twins. And so um, I just said, all right, great. Let's do it. Tell me there's two babies and we are out of here. But we know there's three. We very clearly saw at our previous appointment, three babies, three heads, three heartbeats, three bellies three sets of girl parts. Um, we knew there were triplets in there and we had kind of taken the weekend to process that. Um, I did a lot of crying, a lot of just questioning how, uh, you know, how did this happen? How are we going to manage life with triplets? Um, how are we going to afford all this? I'm a teacher. My husband's a small business owner. What are we going to do? And, and kind of work through all those feelings. Um, so by the time we went in there, we were kind of used to the, starting to get used to the idea of, okay, we're having triplets. What, what next? So she starts the exam and she's just moving her, you know, I don't know what it's called. I call it a wand, uh, the wand and down and right and left and just all over my belly without saying anything for probably like 10 minutes it was like silent in that room you could hear a pin drop um 
the perinatologist was supposed to be there. He was running late, his assistant or nurse or whoever was in the room too, but nobody's saying anything until eventually um, the tech says, oh, I'm out of paper. I have to go and runs out of the room. Um, and the nurse runs out after her. Um, and Kyle and I just look at each other like, yeah, right. She didn't run out of paper. They're in, probably in a panic in the hallway. We're imagining them calling the doctor like, you need to get here now. There's three babies. Um, I don't know how long they were out there. It was, it was at least a few minutes until she finally comes back in. And I'm like, okay, so what's the verdict? She says, well, I think we really better wait for the doctor. Okay. So she goes back to examining me again. And um, before the doctor came in, she find, eventually told us, she said, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're having three babies, which we already knew. Um, you know, so we're just like, yeah, that's what we tried to tell you. Um, and she's just, you know, embarrassed. She's like, I, I just want to cry. I don't know if I need to apologize for my colleagues. And um, the doctor comes in finally, um, our perinatologist, um, who we now know and love very well. Um, but he just comes in like eyes big as saucers and just sits down in the chair and shakes his head. Um, and I don't think they really knew how to approach this situation with us at first. You could tell they were being kind of cautious about what they would say. I don't know if they thought we might be really upset and, you know, say negligence, malpractice, you know, whatever. But that's really not where our heads were at. Um, as I said, at that point, we were just really wanting to look forward. Um, okay, there's no going back. I'm carrying three babies. Uh, what do we do now? Um, are these babies okay? Are they healthy? Um, what do we need to do to make sure we deliver them safely? So that's really where our heads were at uh, moving forward from that. And um, the situation was that our third baby who had been hiding prior to that point, that's what they think that she just was hidden behind one of the other three babies. And again, I think for you know, three different ultrasound techs, two of them in a perinatology unit who are used to seeing multiples to not see this third baby. I just feel like she must have been so well hidden. And then things just shifted um, to where, I mean, you couldn't miss her. By the time I got to that 29 weeks, um, our baby A reach on the left side, baby B reach on the right side, and baby C was transverse sideways across the top. So they made like a triangle. And you know, you could just see her, our third baby, um, clear as day by that point. Whereas before, I think she definitely had just been hiding and they didn't know or even think to look for a third baby. But she made her presence known and she was measuring much smaller than the other two girls by three or four weeks um, behind the other two. So we knew that she was going to determine um, when I was going to deliver, um, when we need to, you know, just monitor her growth, make sure she's okay, and when it's time to, for um, her to come out, uh, we would have a scheduled C-section. Um, so it was, so that was um, 30 weeks when we got the confirmation from her doctor that we were having triplets and I was 34 weeks, I'm sorry, 32 weeks and four days um, when I got admitted to the hospital for monitoring. So yeah, we had less than a month between finding out about the 30 babies and when we actually met all three of them. So um, I think I'll talk in another video about um, what our hospital experience was like, what the birth was like, um, how it was having the babies in the NICU. Um, but for now, I'll just say that we have three happy, healthy babies. Our two-year-old has adjusted amazingly well. He's doing fantastic. Um, we, my um, husband Kyle and I, are getting by, we're surviving um, with a lot of help, 
a lot of help and really just taking it day by day and doing the best we can. Um, so that's it. <laughs>